Now, one county with some of the highest transmission rates of the virus is Grand County. Health officials there are working to stop the spread with some success. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Jamie Leary has the facts right now from Grand County. And Jamie, they're hoping to lower those case counts before the spring break crowds arrive. Absolutely, Jim. And some community members are still upset about the lack of data coming from the county in general, which the county says is now working to adjust. 109 employees at Winter Park Resort tested positive for COVID two weeks ago. 200 were tested again yesterday with only one positive result. And the county says if the numbers keep going down, it could be in level yellow by spring break. And should an uptick occur, that would be much more manageable. Grand County's numbers in, in case uh, trends were rising. <laughs> Two weeks ago, Grand County placed all of Winter Park Resort under level red restrictions, along with two bars, one in Winter Park and one in Frazier. About 11 patrons and one employee from the businesses that were targeted were associated with those. The numbers have been slowly declining since, but there are still concerns. It took three weeks for Winter Park Resort and Grand County Public Health to actually announce the outbreak. Jane Mather believes community members need to see outbreak data regularly. My fear is our numbers are going to improve, we're going to become complacent, and then it's going to get risky again. The latest outbreak, Winter Park wasn't obligated to report. Due to how large the outbreak was, we felt that it was actually going to be to our benefit to report it. Mather wants to see outbreak and other data in real time, and she's not alone. Up until recently, the county didn't provide much information. And so in order to make sure that we are HIPAA compliant, uh, we felt that it was safer to not release it. But now after the amount of cases that we've had, um, we feel that being able to release it is a possibility without revealing the identity of those individuals. The county is hopeful the downward trend can continue. Hopefully by spring break, we'll be in a position where if there is a surge that we can handle it. And not have any more impacts on their businesses. In fact, they just qualified for the state's five star program, so they're hopeful that they can get most of their qualifying businesses into level yellow in the near future. Live in Grand County, Jamie Leary, CBS 4 Mountain Newsroom.